Yo, what's up? Today I want to make a video on why Trezor is better than Ledger for storing Bitcoin. Now, this is not for people who know a lot about Bitcoin. This is for the people who don't know very much because if you know a lot about Bitcoin, these are going to be pretty obvious things for you. But for those who don't, I just want to make a quick video. Now, this is a Trezor hardware wallet for storing Bitcoin. And this is a Ledger hardware wallet. Now, the reason these are better than exchanges is because you own the private keys, meaning the keys that unlock the wallet that stores the Bitcoin you own, where on the exchange, the, the exchanges own your keys, meaning if that exchange collapses, you're not getting your Bitcoin. However, there's a reason why Trezor is so much better than Ledger. There's two main reasons. One, this is my favorite, is that you can, have, you can add your own custom 25th word um, and it can... It can be like, I don't even know the maximum, but you can add numbers, you can add uh, any type of like digit to the 25th key, meaning it's a lot more secure than this, which only has 24 keys, the ledger. But another reason the Trezor is much better, and this is another major reason, is it's open source, meaning you know with this device, there's no back door that the company Trezor can get your private keys. Where with Ledger, it's not open source, so no one knows the code that's on this thing besides Ledger. So there could be a back door um, if you store Bitcoin on a Ledger where they can get your private keys, meaning they can steal your Bitcoin. Now, it's very unlikely they would do that because even if the company collapsed, that would be illegal to take your private keys and steal it. However, it, it is a small possibility that even hackers could access it, you know, whereas you don't have to worry about that with the Trezor. Now, I do store Bitcoin on both of these. However, I store most of my Bitcoin on my Trezor. I store very little on here. I kind of use this as a hot wallet, meaning I'll transfer in here and transfer out really fast. Whereas this one's more of a cold wallet where everything I put on here stays on here for a long time. But yeah, that's why I highly recommend you getting a Trezor over a Ledger. The only plus side to this device is it has a battery. For this one, you have to plug in. However, I mean, do you really want a battery in your wallet? Uh, plus this one runs off bluetooth which is very sketchy where this one you know runs off the usb to your computer so yeah highly recommend trezor over ledger um i didn't know this back when i was a noob back in like 2018 2019 uh i only learned this in the past couple years so i just wanted to teach this lesson thanks for watching